Hello, people. So this is my 17 questions tag that Rebecca did. I'm bored and I felt like doing a tag. So there you go. Do freaking y'all. Okay. Question number uno, numero uno, is how did you get e your YouTube username? I, uh, I think it was two weeks after I had seen Remember Me, and I was thinking, I had, was thinking for a while to make a second channel, and so I thought, yeah, I basically took Tyler Hawkins, which is Rob's character in the film, and then fingerprints, and it's basically from, it's part of one of my favorite quotes, which is from the film, which is, our fingerprints don't fade from the lives we touch. Um, so I just put X, Tyler's fingerprints X. How artsy fartsy of me. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? I remember when I was really little, I tried to get people to call me Emma, but that never stuck. Um, people instead, m well, my grandmother, she calls me Emmy, and some of my friends call me M. They used to call me Miley, which I didn't appreciate very much. But, <laughs> oh man. Oh gosh, I have a bad feeling about releasing that. Anyway, so, yeah, I remember when I was really little, I used to really hate my name. Like, I despised it a lot, you know, not a lot more than normal. I mean, some, some, most, not all kids hate their name, but some kids, depending on the name, like, they really don't like it, you know. So, yeah, but I, it got to the point where I was honestly, uh, debating on whether to, like, legally change my name to something else. Um, but no, I've gotten over it. I'm, I'm better. I'm fine with it now. So, I don't think I'd change it. So, there's that. If you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Um, to be yourself and don't try to be something you're not. I did that a lot during like elementary, middle school, and uh, up until my junior year of high school. I would always try to, you know, and the only way I thought that I would fit in is if I liked what everyone else liked. And I realized when, you know, junior year that that wasn't right. And I should be myself and I shouldn't be afraid to. Um, also, just you know not be so shy i'm still very shy i'm a very shy person and you know you know <laughs> you know just yeah if you like a boy emily go up and tell him you like him don't be don't ask your friend to go do it or you know don't just keep it inside like go and go and do it you know you are woman here you are and here you know hear me roar or something like that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, to just be myself and not be afraid of it and to not take shit from nobody. Um, and yeah. How old were you when you first learned to blow a bubble gum? Bubble. Six? And I'm just guessing here, because I have this very vague, uh, memory of me sitting in my dad's truck while he's driving and he's trying to teach me how to blow a bubble gum. Um, I think I was six or seven. I don't remember. Um, what did you want to be when you were little? An astronaut for, I think, three, a few years in elementary school, up until fifth grade, when I realized you weren't allowed to bring stuffed animals onto the space shuttle, uh, and they don't eat ice cream. Uh, they eat some other disgusting stuff that the government gives them, and it's not so nice, so I nixed that idea. And, um, I still don't know what I want to be, even. I, I don't. I have ideas, but who knows. Um, what do you order at Starbucks? For Christmas, I order the peppermint mocha frappuccino. Normally, I order the double chocolate chip frappuccino. Um, I, I prefer coffee bean more to Star than Starbucks because it's not as expensive. It's still pretty expensive, but it's not as expensive. Um, I like tea as well, but I don't buy tea from there. I don't trust them. <laughs> it's really redundant. I trust them with getting my coffee order right, but I don't trust them with my tea, because my grandpa knows how I like my tea, so there's that. Um, what's the hardest you ever laughed? I don't know. 
just whenever I'm with my friends, like I'm Skyping with them or or I'm hanging out with them, it's just there's not one real moment sticks out because each one, each each little moment I have with my friends, we're always laughing at something. So I don't think there's never there's not one that really sticks out. Um, they each kind of like mix m kind of mix together because they're all yeah. Um, if you could play any musical instrument, which would it be and why? Piano or guitar? I remember for a while I wanted to learn how to play the violin, but that didn't happen, obviously, so. What's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? Um, listen to music to help, it helps, I guess. Um, I suggest, um, depending on your mood, I guess, like, I usually try to listen to, like, really, like, calm music to calm me down or like if I'm mad I listen to like I don't know Lady Gaga or like some kind of or my one of uh, or like Pretty Reckless or Joan Jett or something but um yeah that's um yeah the, the that's the non-personal thing that I do the other thing I would not like to mention like I said it's personal so yeah um what's your favorite movie of uh, 13. I've watched that movie so many times. I know it word for word with or without the commentary. I love that movie to death. Um, favorite Kristen movie would have to be Welcome to the Rileys or The Runaways. It's a tie between those two. Um, and favorite Rob movie is Bad Mother's Handbook. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, favorite pizza oh uh, I skipped one I skipped a lot what's one food you cannot live without uh, probably because I just got done eating it in and out um, I hadn't I haven't eaten it in forever so yeah that's why so yeah uh, what's your favorite dessert cheesecake any kind of cheesecake especially my grandmother's uh, lemon cheesecake that she makes each thanksgiving yeah it's amazing um favorite piece of topping cheese i'm a very boring boring person i like pepperoni but not that d it depends if it's really spicy then i won't eat it um would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible um can i have both because i think if i had i would i would usually pick read minds I have a feeling I'd be the kind of person to just stare at, you know, as I'm reading the person, reading the person's mind, I would be staring at them, and they'd look, be, then they'd realize that someone is staring at them, and they'd look at me and give me the, why the hell are you staring at me look, so it'd be nice to be invisible while I'm reading their, your mind, and also I can sneak onto places as I'm reading your mind or something like that, so yeah, I can be like a double threat or something, <laughs> I don't know, I'm cheating, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be invisible and read mine, so take that. Um, what did you do for your last birthday? Um, I hung out with two of my closest friends. We watched a few movies, ate pizza, which is weird because we had just got done going to a restaurant. We went to a restaurant as well, and then my dad got us pizza. Yeah, fattening us up, why don't you? Um, and, um, yeah, we just hung out at my house and chilled and talked and stuff. Um, if you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be and why? Um... To be able to visit my friends in other countries whenever I want to. Um, no money, no, no cost to me at all. Like, I wish I had this transporter machine, like, in the corner of my room, and I can just type in London or Natasha's house, and I can just be instantly transported to her house, or type in Mo's house, and I can instantly be transported there. But, um, yeah, it'd be a lot nicer. <laughs> it'd, it'd make um, the thing I'm planning in November a lot more, you know, you know plausible or you know, real, you know, realistic or I don't, not really realistic, just more able for me to do that. Blah, blah, blah. It'd just be a lot more easier for me to, you know, be able to do that. So yeah. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, last question. What does OMGHHKP mean to you? I don't know what that means to me, because I don't know what it means, so it means nothing to me, because it is just a jumble. It, it says OMG, which is oh my god, and then 
four other were letters that I don't know why they're combined with each other. So yeah, there's that. That's that. Person, you. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> and all that jazz of stuff, of stuff, stuff. And I'll I tag everybody watching this. Mo, Natasha, Alice, everybody. You guys gotta do this stuff. Do this shit. Or you don't have to. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> if you're bored, do it. Anyway, uh, I'll see y'all later. Mwah.